So the Dick Evans Memorial Road Race is a 112 mile bike around the island of Oahu, starting in Hawaii Kai and then finishing in Hawaii Kai. It's the, um, it's the basis for the Ironman Triathlon, the 112 mile bike portion. I've done this race before, but back in 2005 and 2006 when I was a much younger man, <laughs> And uh, I haven't ridden more than 60 miles on any given day in the last 17 years. But uh, I'm gonna do that race this Sunday. And uh, it's gonna be special. I'll have Michelle on speed dial in case she needs to come pick me up somewhere. So that being uh, this race coming up this Sunday, I just went for a nice little jog this morning, a little base run. And uh, I'm probably gonna take it pretty easy this week because I want to be well rested for Sunday. Um, the best time I ever had in the Dick Evans, you know, 18 years ago was six hours and 35 minutes. So if I can come anywhere close to that, I would be very, very happy. Um, the sooner I can get done, the better, because it's a long time in the saddle. Long time in the saddle. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm a bit nervous. I guess it goes back to you know, us saying, hey, you just got to sign up for crazy things and, and then just do it. And, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a crazy thing. And I just got to do it. I just got to make it happen. Well, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, August the 23rd. I'm just out for our walk this morning and uh, thinking about that Dick Evans Memorial Road Race coming up on Sunday. Uh, pretty much the rest of the week, I'm going to... You know take it easy um, maybe do a little swimming do a little uh, relaxing and uh, just massage the muscles and get ready for Sunday there isn't anything else I can really do to train for Sunday I mean yeah, I'm in the condition I'm in and that's just gonna be it <laughs> just have to fuel up you know uh, carb up as much as possible hydrate really well this week in preparation for Sunday and, and just do whatever I can to try to stay with the Peloton um, you know they, they basically have a, a neutral start for the first 30 miles meaning everybody all rides together with police escort out to Ebba Beach and then they let us go right at the bottom of uh, Kunia Road and I think it's a it's about a six six mile seven mile hill that uh, it's a pretty decent grade so that's where all the, the real cyclists are going to take off and start pushing and pressing. And, and I'm going to be hanging on for dear life <laughs> trying to stick with them. Because <laughs> if you lose the Peloton, then you got to go around the North Shore into the wind by yourself. And that's just very, very painful. Yeah, so Mars at the Evans Road Race. <laughs> and I'm fueling up on pizza. So 112 miles on the bike is a long way. And of course, beer. Can't do it without a piece of the beer. What am I doing? This is worth it. Yeah, this is this is what makes it worth it. Time to go. Uh, I think I'm crazy, honey. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> About 30 minutes before race time, everybody's just getting their bikes unpacked and ready. And, uh,. I'm up here at the Kalama Valley Shopping Center. This is where we do, uh, this is where I do our CrossFit every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today it is the staging area for the Dick Evans Memorial Road Race, which is 112 miles all the way around the island of Oahu. All right, be careful out there. I appreciate everybody coming out today.
Thank you very much. All right, most importantly, protect each other, have fun, and ride bravely, please. And I want to pass it over to Gregory now. All right, guys, and men and women, welcome. I'm Gregory, Chief Referee, Moto Rep. And I'm honored to stand here today in place of the great Bob Bankson, who normally has done this job. So, the organizer, Carl, Out of Bounds Hawaii team, all 100 plus volunteers are here for you. You are our customers. We're here to serve you. Uh, this is a USAC sanctioned event. All USAC regulations apply. All. Bar in plugs, check your bikes. No arrow or tri bars or extensions. No bottle cages on the back of your saddle. You must have two working brakes. This is a road race event. Your socks must be seven or nine inches tall. <laughs> he told me he had a joke, but I didn't know what it was. Just kidding. Those are like compression pants. <laughs> Bib number on the right side for the officials. Guys, Josh, get in the, get in the lane, please. All completely within the lane. We're going to cover that. Center line rule, starting from this second on, is the number one rule of this event. If you cross the center line, you will be consequenced. Uh, so center line means do not even touch it. Completely non-touch. It's an easy call when you guys touch the line. Hey, I'm going to be right there watching. Right strong. And never ever give up. Let's go! Woo! Jay completed the, the whole new 70.3, the half Ironman, I flat out looked him in the face and I says, you will never do another race without me. So I brought this race up to him because I knew this was something he would really, really be into. And when he told me he was going to commit, I turned around, looked him in the face, right in his eyes, and I told him to have fun. I'm not doing this. This is crazy sauce. I just got his beacon that the race just started. It's about five minutes late, but that's okay. I'd rather be really early and wait for him because I think this is going to be really cool to see. I'm really excited for him. I know he's going to do great. I just... Bikes give me such anxiety that I, I, I can't do it yet. Something I'm working through, but maybe next year. So instead of doing this race, I'm going to go for a little bit of a run, probably a swim. I was hoping to get on the bike, um, but I'm a little nervous to do this without Jay. Um, I have really bad anxiety when it comes to bikes. But it's something I'm working through. Um, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Not today.
Okay, I'm a little jealous. finished too soon. I couldn't catch you. Yeah, I was wondering if you were going to. <laughs> I was hoping. I was hoping too. Did you just finish? Yeah. Oh, bummer. About um, four minutes ago. Oh. Yeah. I've been here for a minute. I just haven't <laughs> been able to move. <laughs> you look good. That's because I was almost done. <laughs> should have seen me about 50 miles ago. I was questioning all of my life choices. <laughs> all of them? All. Well, except for you, of course. <laughs> of course, you got me into this craziness, so maybe I was questioning you. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been. <laughs> How do you feel? Like I want to strip down 
meet you at the club and go into the jacuzzi. Oh. Did you bring beer? I did. Oh, you are the most amazing wife on the entire planet. Yes, get a close up of that. What was that? The most amazing wife on the entire planet. Who? Well, I have to see it first. Who? Beer. I, I am. <laughs> I, yeah. You can't say. You have to Who start is? with. I am. Michelle. <laughs> Michelle is the most amazing wife on the entire planet. <laughs> Here, let me put my phone down so I can help you off your bike. <laughs>